Hey, it's Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMe.com. Today I'm sharing how Brandon and I built a DIY grill cart. With summer officially here, it's the perfect time to do some grilling and have a DIY grill cart to help. This grill cart would also work great as an outdoor cart for entertaining and it also makes a great gift. We are building this grill cart for Brandon's dad for his birthday, which is coming up. You can get a full cut list, material list, tutorial, and printable build plans on my blog, which is linked below this video in the description box. Before we get started though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along. I share fun new DIY and decor videos every week here on the channel. Okay, let's get started. Step one is to make the lumber cuts for the grill cart. Start by making all of the lumber cuts with the miter saw. Again, you can get a full cut list on my blog linked below this video in the description box. Step two is to add pocket holes to the boards. Add pocket holes to both ends of the 2x3 and 2x4 boards that are being used for the front, back, and sides of the grill cart frame. Make sure the Craig jig is set for one and a half inch thick wood. Step three is to build the side frames of the grill cart. Measure and mark three and a half inches up from the bottom of two of the two by three cart legs. Then attach a shorter two by three at these marks with wood glue and two and a half inch Craig screws to attach the two legs together. Next, attach a two by four between the legs at the top of the legs with wood glue and Craig screws to finish the first side of the grill cart. Repeat these steps again to create the second side frame of the grill cart. Step four is to assemble the back and front of the grill cart to the side frames. Attach the two side frames together and create the back of the grill cart by attaching a two by four at the top of the side frames. Again, use wood glue and two and a half inch Craig screws. Also, I used our 48 inch clamp to help with this part. Then attach a two by three, three and a half inches up from the bottom of the legs. After attaching the 2x3, hold a 1x4 slat board level with the top of the 2x3 and mark under the bottom of it. Do this on both sides. Then attach a 1x2 board at these marks with wood glue and self tapping 1 and a quarter inch wood screws. This is to create a shelf support for the slat boards for our grill cart's lower shelf. Flip the grill cart over and repeat all of these steps again to create the front of the grill cart. Now it's time to attach the lower shelf slat boards. I went ahead and put wood glue down on top of my 1x2s. Lay the 1x4 slat boards on top of the 1x2 supports spaced about 3 eighths of an inch apart to create the lower shelf. Then secure them in place with 1 and a quarter inch brad nails and a brad nailer. At this point, it's easiest to paint the bottom part of the grill cart and stain the top 1x6 shelf board separately before attaching them to the cart frame. We started by priming the cart frame and then painted it with two coats of Tricorn Black by Sherwin-Williams. We made sure to use an exterior paint for this cart since it's going to be left outside. Mm -hmm. 
For the top 2x6 boards, we used one coat of Valspar Semi-Transparent Exterior Stain in Pine Bark, which I had on hand already from our other outdoor furniture projects like our outdoor side table and our outdoor chair and couch. To create the top of the grill cart, place the first 2x6 board on top of the cart frame so it has a 1 inch overhang on both sides of the cart and the front of the cart frame. Clamp it into place and attach the board to the frame with 2.5 inch self tapping screws on each side. Make sure they are countersunk beneath the wood surface a little bit. Attach the next three 2x6 boards the same way, leaving a quarter inch gap between each board. All sides of the top shelf should have a one inch overhang over the cart frame once they're installed. You can either leave the screw holes unfinished or fill them in with a stainable wood filler like us. After the wood filler dried, we just sanded it down and touched it up with the wood stain. The last step is to install the casters and hardware. Turn the grill cart over and attach the caster wheels. Finally, install any hooks, bottle openers, towel bars, or other hardware that you want to add to the grill cart to finish it off. How awesome did this DIY grill cart turn out? I totally love it and we are super excited to give it to Brandon's dad for his birthday. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comments and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by.